In my previous tutorial, we talked about the basic terms and concepts we needed to know to get started with SQL. And in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about how to install MySQL Server and Workbench. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to download and install MySQL Server and Workbench on Apple devices. So let's get started. So first of all, we will open MySQL website. So we'll simply type mysql.com and when we go there, you will see the downloads menu icon. So we will go there and at the bottom you will see MySQL Community Downloads. We will click on that. So here you will get all the different download options and different options for Windows as well as for Mac. So if you see at the bottom here, we have MySQL Installer for Windows. And we also have MySQL Workbench and MySQL Community Server. So that's where we need to click for installing for Mac devices. And when you click on that, you will see that it gives us the option of MySQL Community Server 8.0.32 and it automatically selects Mac operating system because it understands like we are logging in from Mac and you can select all the operating system versions but we keep it all and it picks up that the packages for Ventura which is the operating system for the Mac I am using and it gives me all the compatible versions with that particular operating system. So I can pick up the first one in this case. So all of these are compatible. We can pick whichever we want, but I will go with the first one and that's our latest one. And I will click download. And here it will give you an option to sign up or log in to the Oracle web account. We don't need it as of now for this tutorial. So I will simply say, no thanks, just start my download. So once we do that, it will take a few minutes and once it's loaded, then I will show you how to use the installer. So once it's installed, we will just open that DMG file and we'll double click here to start the installation. So when we click on that, it says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So I would like to allow that. And once it's allowed, it will start with the introduction. So we will simply press continue. And this is the license agreement. So we will continue that as well. And I want to agree to that license. You can read all the information in the license agreement as well. But yeah, so that's, that's your personal choice if you want to agree or don't agree. So once we do that, it will go to the installation type. And by default, in my case, I will use the hard drive. And you can change the location if you want by simply clicking on change install location and press install and it will ask you for the admin password for any software to be installed so i will simply type that and say install software and now it is installing writing and configuring all the files for mysql server and here it will ask us to use strong password encryption so we will click next and we will enter the password for our root user. So by default, the user for MySQL server is root. So you can give the strong password. And here you can say start MySQL server once the installation is complete. So the reasonable password contain at least eight characters. There is a mix of letter number and other characters. So in this case, I didn't use that. So it is giving me an error. So I will use Okay, so I have created the strong password now and I will click finish. And again, it will ask me to enter the admin password for this Mac. And once I do that, press OK and it will start configuring the MySQL server. And once it's done, it's installed, we can simply close that and we can remove the MySQL installer to the bin. So once MySQL server is installed, we can simply go to the settings and at the bottom of the settings, you will see MySQL is installed. So when you click on that, 
you will see that it is automatically started. And you can check and uncheck this option if you want MySQL Server to be automatically started when the computer starts, or you can manually go and stop MySQL Server here as well. And you can uninstall if you want to as well. So now that our MySQL Server is installed, so the next step we need to do is to install MySQL Workbench. So for that, we will do the same thing. We will go to mysql.com and as I shown you earlier, we go to download menu and from there, we will go at the bottom section for MySQL community downloads. And from here, we will go to MySQL Workbench. And again, once we click on that, we will select our operating system from here. So it by default picked up Mac operating system. And the thing which you need to remember is MySQL Workbench version should match with the MySQL Server version. So in this case, it is matching 8.0.32. But if you are installing a different version or you already have different version of Workbench, then make sure both of them are in sync. So you can go to archives and pick different version of MySQL Workbench as well. So in this case, this is the old version, which we don't need. We need the 3.21. Um, so in this case, I will go back and I would like 8.0.32. And this is the one which we need. And I will download that as well. And again, we don't need to log in or sign up. So we simply want our download to get started. So I will click here and it will take a few seconds. So once it's installed, we will open this DMG file and we will simply drag the MySQL workbench to applications like this. And once we do that, it will copy the MySQL workbench to applications. So let's give it a few more seconds. Once it's done, we will simply open MySQL workbench. And you can do that from going to Launchpad and you will see it here, MySQL Workbench is already there. Once we click on MySQL Workbench, it will open the Workbench window, which looks like this. And here, we already have the root user, which is the admin user for this particular MySQL server. We will click on that, and it will ask us for the password, the one which we created while installing MySQL server. So I will press OK, and here you go. You will see the MySQL Workbench interface where on the left-hand side we have all the management window, which is mainly for admins. And then we have schemas where we have system database, which have tables, views, and so on. And here you can see we have system config table. And this is our query window. I will go through the details of the interface in my next tutorial. But just to give you a bit of summary about the interface, it looks like this. And this is a query window where you can type in queries. Let's start from table. I will go through this in detail in my coming tutorials where I will talk about the interface of my SQL Workbench. I hope you guys like this session. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do so so that you don't miss any of my latest videos. Thanks again for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial.